What's poppin' everybody? Sad Wolf 94, Duskman across my bronze on expanded game today. So the last time we got our asses kicked by a Zorark Skyfield deck. To be expected, hopefully with the new bands when they come into place, that deck gets weakened significantly. I think the loss of the puzzles are, is gonna be good, but really the execute, as I was figuring out uh, during the last game, is I think the real problem uh, for many of those decks, not just Zorark, execute is a bitch, too broken. Uh, too loopy But alright, we got another expanded game today and let's see what we got I'm gonna be opening with our Bronzar here So not a good thing to open with since it has a big retreat cost and it's You know the support guy you want on the bench, but when you're on a couple of those of course There's a good chance you can open with them. Uh, well, this is why we run our invasion uh, Don makes the Crossma GX2 with the float stones and shit so my opponent opened up with an Alakazam EX, something you don't really see every day, something that I've never, well not never, but I've barely ever seen uh, since Fates Collide came out. But uh, this is a Pokemon that didn't really do shit, but I guess people have wanted to make it work, tried to make it work. It's You put a bunch of damage counters with its ability and then you can do mass damage with its attack. So that's the concept of it. So... Uh, using level while searching the little Zubat there. Obviously, he's probably running with bats with this combo. So, you know, there is some synergy, some strategies you can do, but it's one of the harder things to pull off when you can just use other Pokemon that do straight damage, like, let's say, Boswell GX, or even Landora, since this is expanded. Okay, so I'm going to use my Heavy Ball and get another Bronzar. I want to get those out quick. And I really hope I get lucky with Trainer's Mel because we don't have any supporters. And thank God we see we have the option to choose either N or Cynthia. I'm going to get the Cynthia, the N, since he has a big-ass hand. I'll make it useless. I won't be able to attach any of the energies, unfortunately, because Bronzong isn't really something we want to put energies on for no reason. So, yeah, we won't get the greatest N, but I did get some stuff to work with at least. Some more supporters, Jirachi, and the Float Stone. So I think we might have to use the Float Stone, maybe, just to get the Bronze are out of the way. Uh, checking out the Alakazam, because I'm not super familiar with what that thing does entirely. I know a little bit, but don't see it all the time. So Alakazam has a sad story, man. Ever since that Yuri Gelo lawsuit, fucking dude, uh, we can't really get any... Kadabra cards, and because of that, you know, we can't really get any Abra Alakazam cards, basically, because uh, it's not conventional. So Alakazam, for a very, very long time, after the Wizards era, he basically only gets released as an, uh, he got released as a shiny card in uh, the EX era. He get, got released as a fucking EX right here, and uh, I guess it worked out, since it's a basic Pokemon, so they didn't, didn't miss, a, miss a chance with that. And then, you know, he did get a form in Mysterious Treasures where there were no, was no Kadabra. Abra could instantly evolve to him. But it, it's rather sad. I mean, it's rather sad he's in the state. And it seems the lawsuit is never going to go away because it's been so many years. And fucking hell. But I mean, Nintendo, I guess, at the same time, they were asking for it. Naming Kadabra in Japanese as his fucking actual name, Yuri Geller. Anywho. So, let's see. Uh, went off topic there. But it's because my opponent needs to take a while to do his shit. So he played the Golbat down, evolved into the Mega Alakazam EX, and he got the easy damage counters there, so it was an easy kill on the Jirachi. Uh, not really a big of a problem that Pokemon is a support dude. We didn't manage to use it, but it is what it is. So gonna use Cynthia. Let's hope we see some shit here. And I do see my Duskmane Necrozma. I do see the Fury Belt too, which is a great thing. It's going to make my opponent's life a lot harder. Because I know it's hard for him uh, with the damage counters and attacking. They really have to be pretty precise with what they do. So, difficult deck. But yeah, 30 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's like a mini sort of uh, X-Ball new to attack that does more damage for the damage counters, not the energies. So if you have a couple, you are going to get the hurt on. 
Uh, in this case, though, it's really rough for my opponent because all of my metal Pokemon have a Psychic Resistance too. So between the Psychic Resistance, 190 HP, and the Fury Belt, it's going to be hard for him to knock out the Duskman and Cosmogix. So, so far I'm being really slow. I haven't really managed to do shit. Uh, we did get a Bronzong out, and I had some pretty terrible luck and terrible hands to work with. But because this deck isn't really all that, uh, perhaps we can take our time a little bit. Um, give my opponent a lead, sort of give him a little bit of a chance. Uh, but I can't be too careless because, you know, he could fuck me up uh, if he starts getting out the Crobats and shit. So let's see here. Let's see. I'm debating if I want to play down the Steel Shelter and just use Lily to draw a bunch of cards. But in the end, we go with Cynthia. Maybe it would have been a good idea to just use Lily there. Uh, okay, so another Heavy Ball. Let's get our another Bronzong out. And... Uh, I have an Ultra Ball, a bunch of Metal Energies, the letter. So we could start making some plays here. I think I should be able to get a Knockout since I have the Switch too. Uh, we're going to get uh, our Metal Energies and then possibly search Don Minx and Cosma GX with the Ultra Ball. Something like that makes sense. So I can do the combo play. Okay, so let's use Ultra Ball, discard the shit. And uh, Don Minx and Cosma. Oh, Bronzong. Wow. I guess I'm going to search Bronzong. I mean, yeah, I do have the Float Stone on. Bronzong actually silly me. So we don't really need to get uh, Don Mix the Cross Magics right now. But it will be good later on. I need to get that eventually. So I'm going to put two Metal Energies with Metal Links. And I can manually attach one too. So I think I should be good. Uh, we are going to be able to get our attack here, and at the very least, I can I can always use Sun Eclipse GX. So let's see here. We're going to manually attach the other Metal Energy, and I'm going to get my Nodgot. And it's really sad, even though this is a Mega Pokemon, it's just Power Creep, man. 210 HP isn't great, and even if it was at 220, I can get the Nodgot anyway. But it's an easy Nodgot for... Uh, Duskman and Crossman GX, so, you know, he's getting all the effort to get the dude out, and it's an easy one-hit KO still. At least some GX Pokemon. I mean, I guess they all, they get knocked out too, the stage ones, but, uh, maybe, if you put something like the damn the dumbbells, they could live. Anyway, so, he has another Alakazam EX out, has the Spirit Link down too. And is using Birch. Wow. Don't know why you use that. But I guess he risks it. Wants the extra energy as opposed to Cynthia. And another Mega Alakazam is going to come out. So Kinesis. 20 on my dude. And 30 on the bench too. And it's kind of crazy. But if he starts getting knockouts on the Bronzongs. I could be in trouble. So yeah. 50 damage for free. It isn't bad. Which is why I guess people really want to make this Alakazam work. Uh, the problem is, is everything else, though. Okay, so he's going to play down the Dimension Valley 2. I was sure he was going to run, he was running that and was going to play, down, th play that down eventually, which is why I was kind of hesitant to put the uh, Stadium before. And it works out, because I really just want to uh, remove his Stadium from my Stadium. So now he's going to be able to use the attack for one energy. Uh, it seems he didn't manage to do shit, though. He just managed to attack with Tapu Lele GX. And I guess it's a decent little attack. It's 60 for 1. Doesn't care about the resistance, too. He doesn't really have much to work with here. Uh, if he's going to rely on Alakazam, Mega Alakazam EX, he really needs to put a lot of damage counters on my dude. Otherwise, he's just wasting his time. And I'm going to start getting one-hit knockouts now. Unfortunately, I don't even see... A way to switch my dudes out and attach the energies on the Duskman and Cosmos so he can get the knockout. So we're just gonna have to attach them to uh, Aegis Slash EX, I guess. It's rather sad. So I'm giving him like plenty of time. Like things aren't going right for me. So you know he has plenty of time if he's gonna do anything. Right. I mean it sucks that we you have to 
have to put this float stone on the bronzong, but I mean we did see it early and I had to move it out of the way and put the Jirachi as a decoy. Alright. So Crobat comes out too, so three more damage counters, wow. So he really is gonna go for the bronzong, it's the smart thing to do at this point. And one of the bronzongs is out. It's a good thing I have another one, I noticed, and make sure to bring a bunch of out. Uh, we could still get the job done with two, honestly. Uh, it just depends on, can I get an attack off, damn it. Right, so Golbat comes out too, so damage counters on Duskmane too. And he's going to bring out Mega Lakazam Zen Force. So he did the maths, and wow, actually, 230. Yeah, easy knockout, easy knockout for sure. So, he only needs to get one GX or EX Pokemon, uh, KO one of those, and he wins. Interesting. So, we're going to use Rescue Stretcher, though. I'm going to grab the Duskman and Cross my GX back. And I hope to God we have at least two Metal Energies in the Discord pile so I can use uh, the GX attack at the very least and just get this game over with. Uh, we attached a bunch to Aegislash GX, and that kind of sucked, but... I don't want to waste my turns not utilizing Bronzong. The energy, in, putting energy in play is always a good thing. You never know what's going to come up if you may need it. But it seems we have at least three we can grab two. So we just have enough to use the GX attack. Man, that GX attack is just such a lifesaver so many times, man. It doesn't even discard energies. It's fucking amazing. Uh, really is amazing. And I'm going to play down the Mime too. I guess he doesn't really help against his uh, damage by an effect, effect damage, but maybe if he decides to spread, I guess mine can do some shit. Anyway, so I end him too, uh, give him less resources to work with, and you know, before you know it, he did he had to put in so much work to get two knockouts, and I just get two knockouts, and we're even so easily. So it really goes to show you why. A deck like this didn't really manage to work and do shit. I can't even remember. Did it actually top and do some shit? Like maybe for a few regionals? I don't know. I don't think it really did shit. Mega Alakazam. But it's really nice. A deck you don't see every day. Uh, you can maybe try and make it work. Build it yourself. See how it is. Uh, Crobats, as this guy's using, is probably the way to go. You could use things like... Uh, Fortress 2 from Flash Farm, that's a good Pokemon too, only a stage 1. But Golbats and the Crobats are probably the way to go. You can even use Greninja GX now that does the same shit basically, if you want to. Okay, so he really can't do shit, he knows that if he promotes one of his big dudes, all I need to do is just attach a Metal Energy and he's dead basically. So he's starting to do the Devolution Spray shit. Attached energy on Crobat. He's probably thinking I'm uh, probably gonna have to use Crobat attack with it once at least. But he's in a really rough spot here. I even have Lysander. He doesn't even know it. So uh, he basically has to win this turn, do something significant this turn. Basically, win this turn. Yeah, because if you knock out Duskman and Crossma, uh, you win. But he has to get Duskman and Crossma out of the way because if it attacks, I I just win. Or just use N, get rid of my Lysander from my hand. So he's doing his shit, targeting down the Bronzong, doing everything he can. Not knowing that is basically, possibly game. I mean, I've got the letter too, so we can just use that and grab the energy. I don't even need to use Bronzong. So, Bronzong is out of the way. I mean, another thing he could have done is just target the Bronzong and then target the Mime some shit with the 70 HP and just win that way maybe that was a strategy on his part but he didn't have the resources and unfortunately for him I use the letter I have Lysander so all I have to do is pull the Mega Alakazam he's not gonna survive even fresh with his maximum HP and it's basically GG so interesting little game with Mega Alakazam EX poor Alakazam in general but getting the knockout it's basically an easy win and expanded. It's a good thing though, a fresh sort of different game instead of the same shit. So, GG. 
uh, the dude did try. He came pretty close, even if I was slow. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Cerebral Frame 4. What's up?